Hey fun fans, our friends at GoBuilda have supplied us an awesome giveaway of a Shaft Beams bundle for all FTC videos in the month of October. To enter, be a YouTube subscriber and comment on your favorite GoBuilda.com component or part. You can enter in any video that has this intro. There's no wrong answers here. So make sure you comment below. So now let's go ahead and get into some questions that we got asked on the Discord before the show. Uh, if you're not already a part of our Discord, make sure to join it. That way you can ask questions for future shows beforehand. Uh, so Nate from the Discord asked, when can we expect merch? I'd buy a hoodie immediately if you guys offered them. <laughs> yeah, well, there are, things are in progress. We, we have a lot of ideas, and we're excited to get those out there. If you have ideas, feel free to send them to the FunFTC Discord. Um, we'll, I'll see him there. You can also ask him questions. But. If, if you want to buy <laughs> things and give Go Build the money, let him know. <laughs> awesome. Tell him from Discord. Ask. Uh, what do you think your position on the market is compared to other vendors? It's a loaded uh, that's, question. That's a good question. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you know, man, there's a lot of good products out there. So mm -hmm. I mean, everybody's kind of updating the product, making it better. You know, so you know that's a that's kind of the the teams, I guess, to decide to some extent, but uh, we've been really happy, and you know, all we do is basically push more ideas. That's that's what we try to do. Let, let me ask you here, and maybe maybe this will help kind of clarify. Uh, instead of you know compared to other competitors, how do you position Go Builda? in regards to the market? Like, how do you look at like, hey, this is the niche, this is the fill, this is the need to go build the services? Well, the education side, I mean, boy, honestly, when we develop products, we think of it from an industrial application. And so the thing is, is that teams are getting so good. I mean, if you look at FTC teams 10 years ago and see kind of what they were building, it was awesome stuff, but it's changed, the game has changed. So teams want industrial, quality products and so that's what we position ourselves at because there's some things that we'll design and we're like you know no that's not good enough it needs to be very good so you know um yeah that's what that's what drives us i mean is if it can't be used in industry uh boy we, we usually don't pull the trigger on so we have this goal uh much like arduino came to the market and said we're going to make it so you don't have to be an electrical engineer to make electronics projects we kind of have this mindset of we want to make it so you don't have to be a mechanical engineer to make a really cool robot or project. Mm. Awesome. Um, so Adam from the Discord asks, what's your favorite product? Any of you? We, we, why don't we go uh, Jason and Ethan and Brian? All right. Uh, right now I'm re really liking the 8Rex. I'm, I'm really liking the 8Rex. So if I pick one product, it might be the 8Rex Sonic because um, I have a special place in my heart for that. We all love Sonic. We, we can argue about who gets to say Sonic Cubs. Um, my favorite, probably, it's product line, but I love HGD5. I'm a huge drivetrain guy, and it just gives me so much freedom when I can start to branch out and do really neat things. Boy, um, honestly, there's, uh, boy, it's usually stuff that's in R&D that I probably can't say. Cause usually it's you can like always that. say it here on Fun Series. I know, I know, but... <laughs> No, I, I love gears. I love bevel gears. I mean, I'm, I mean, um, I love looking at the bevel gears. I would say probably bevel gears in my. In my awesome, uh, Arjun from the Discord asked, "What gear ratios for the Go Build and non Yellow Jacket motors? Uh, how were they chosen? Why oh, why cool. were the ratios for the Go Build and non Yellow Jacket motors chosen the way they were?" So I'm, I'm assuming they're talking about probably the spur gear motor. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, that, that, you know, that's a great question. Um, I would say probably looking at what teams were utilizing. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, the different ratios and the, certainly the, the RPMs, obviously the ratios and RPMs uh, together. But, um, yeah, I mean, we kind of wanted to have a, a relatively fairly powerful one and a fairly fast motor, you know, but all of a sudden, you know, planetary kind of took over that market. And, and that's really what we've been concentrating on. But yeah, as far as the ratios on that, that's a great question. But really, it just kind of comes out we wanted one that had some speed and one that was a little bit more on the power side. So. They'll always look like, a lot of uh, our gearboxes will look like weird ratios. 19.2 um, isn't super obvious. Um, some, sometimes people will just round to a nearest whole number, um, but we really like giving teams as much information as they can. Great. 
And Stiletto from the Discord asks, what are your thoughts about offering more pieces that allow for angle mounting? Only having a 45 degree option is pretty limiting. Uh, this season, wanting to do more things with like ramps and stuff like that. They're coming. They're, They're coming. coming. Just, yeah, just, yeah, so you know, we have so many products in the pipeline that it just kind of, they kind of get boggled up in our mind to some extent. We literally have a wall um, that is a very long wall. And so, uh, but yeah, so there, there are a lot of cool structural, even structural, not only all these um, um, mechanical or motion type products, but we have a lot of new structural stuff coming down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're coming, different angle parts are coming. Awesome. Adam from the Discord asks, uh, do you think you guys will be able to have a booth at Worlds this year? <laughs> well, that's a loaded question. We would love to be at Worlds. And so we've, we've been pushing for that opportunity, and it hasn't uh, clicked for us. So that's not really our choice. That would be, you know, first choice. Um, we certainly have reached out to, to be there, um, and we're there. I mean, we're wa they're walking around supporting teams and things like that, but boy, we would love to have a booth. I mean, just saying, guys, you could just load up a backpack with free stuff and just start handing it out to people. I think that, that, that's some guerrilla marketing tactics right there. By the way, my, uh, my uh, invoice will be in the mail for that idea. <laughs> we love seeing teams there, so absolutely. But, yeah, we would love to have a booth there and giving out free parts of the booth. I mean, we would do that constantly there, you know. Uh, so, but hopefully it will happen, but that's not our decision, so um, – we, we would love to. So I, I'm going to invest. Uh, I need to follow up on that a little bit in regards to so that, that it's truly not like you can just give first a boatload of cash and be like, give me a booth sort of thing. Or are they legitimately uh, saying, hey, uh, right now, this is not a good fit for us. Uh, I won't get into too much, but we've uh, we had not we we were we were going to be at Worlds and we were going to pay to be at Worlds. And at the last minute, uh, they said no. So um, we were going to pay. We were, we were paying money to have a booth there, and then we were all ready to go. And then they, about two weeks from world, they said, "Hey, um, no, you can't go." So we were really bummed, really bummed. So you know, we reached out, you know, multiple times to to, to be there, um, and as well as other things with first as well, um, to be there to support the team because it's kind of been a grassroots effort for us from us. But boy, we love even something from the top down but that opportunity hasn't come come our way so but we're we're still pushing and so it really comes down to teams and um but yeah we would man, we would love to you, you know if there's only a group of passionate people who maybe like go build the products i could tweet first or send them a message saying hey we really like to see go build that championships just a suggestion i don't know where we might find those people but it could happen somewhere so <laughs> never know mm -hmm. we'd love to awesome Adam from the Discord also asks, uh, when choosing to give a part an upgrade, so like the Sonic Hubs, you made it from M3 to M4, what kind of process goes into it? Is it just like getting feedback, or was it other stuff that, I know your Bevel Gears also went through an upgrade, uh, what sort of stuff goes through that? So we have to weigh like how good of an update is this, how much of a difference will it make versus the pain it'll go through to update that, um, because you're not just updating one product, you're updating all the uh, product insights and supporting materials. It may be out there in videos. It, you know, so kind of it kind of spiders out pretty quickly. Um, but if we really feel like it's bringing something to the table, then we'll seriously consider it and, um, and go through with it. Um, Island from the Discord asks, does Go Build a have any electrical engineers? We do, absolutely, yeah. So. We've got two, two electrical engineers, so, and they're, they're, crank, they're going to be cranking up some sweet stuff, so be, mm -hmm. be on the lookout for that. There's, there's going to be some awesome stuff coming down the, coming down the road. Really cool. Uh, Stiletto from the Discord asks, what was the criteria for choosing veteran teams for the sponsorship? The yeah, there are a ton of factors. Um, big can, ones can you guys back up real quick and actually talk about what the sponsorship is, and then uh, just oh. for people who might not be familiar with that? Yeah, so we had a couple different sponsorships. Um, we gave out a hundred Strafer chassis to, or for a hundred dollars to rookie teams. We had a huge discount there. Um, we also gave a bunch of teams um, a bunch of store credit. So if I remember correctly, it was about two hundred and fifty bucks. Um, we had a ton of teams apply, and it was 
excuse me, we had a ton of teams apply and we looked at a lot of criteria through those. Um, a big one was social media presence. If you're big on social media, that's a huge plus for us. Uh, how long your team has been around, if you're really sustaining, that's awesome. So it shows a lot of that dedication. And outreach, community outreach is a big one as well. We, we watch that really close to see what teams mm -hmm. are doing um, for other teams and as well as uh, you know, helping you know, other teams start, or look, especially rookie teams, what they're doing there. So that, that played a massive role. Yeah. Awesome. So that was 40 teams, um, 40 veteran teams we gave $250 store credit to. Really cool. Uh, Stiletto from the Discord asks, uh, have you thought about a one-to-one -one bubble gear? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. One-to-ones are coming. We um, we want to make our product safe, too, so we've had a lot of R&D prototypes done, but they believe it. Well, I won't get into the details of it, but when you're running one-to-ones the way, we want them to fit inside channels. And so, right. great ways to make them fit, but boy, some of them are like, if I got my finger in there, my it's not coming out. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> But we, we wanted to be fairly safe, so we, we're, we're really, really close. We're testing some prototypes now, so they'll, they'll be tough. They'll be tough. A huge thing to build that is we are all really, really solid positive drive. So everything will be clamping or have a set screw in there. That's kind of a criteria for us, an industry standard. You want to get as little lash in every system you can as possible. So that can kind of throw a little bit of a wrench in the works and make it a little tiny bit more difficult. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.